everybody, welcome to Antrim. My name is Donald Kelly and I operate Belfast Mike Tours. I'm also a member of Tour Guides NI. I was born and bred here in Antrim and I used to, as a child, walk around these fantastic gardens. So I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the Antrim and Newton Abbey Council District and some of the, some of the fantastic attractions that we have here. So we're in the courtyard now of Clotworthy House, it dates to about the mid 19th century and this was the, the stabling house for Antrim Castle. But you can come here today, get a tea, coffee and sit outside, sit inside and enjoy the surroundings. So I'm here on the Deer Park Bridge and what is now the Castle Gardens was originally the gardens for the Clotworthy Massarine family who go way back to the latter part of the, the 16th century. But today of course Antrim and Newton Abbey Council have spent a lot of money developing the, the castle gardens and the parkland around here and they've done a fantastic job and people really from all over now are enjoying the gardens. So we're now in the Partier Gardens. When I was growing up here in the 70s and 80s, this was just all grass. It was used for as hockey pitches. But Antrim and Newton Abbey Council have now recreated the original geometric designs that go back to the latter part of the uh, 17th century. And they've done a fantastic job. In the summertime, they have concerts just over here on the stage as well. So we're here now at the Long Pond and it dates back to the early part of the 18th century. And again, it's a beautiful feature of the Antrim Castle Gardens. But just on a personal note, back in the late 1960s when I was very small, there was maybe two or three, and I walked out from this hedge here, a uh, family was having a, a picnic, but I fell into the, the lily pond, as we called it. I was saved by an American gentleman who was walking around the park. He saved my life. So it always reminds me of that, although I can't really remember it. So behind me is the last remaining part of what was the Massarine Castle. This is the Italian Tower. The castle itself would have been just over here. You can see the, uh, where the front door would have been, the archway here. Unfortunately, the castle was burnt to the ground in 1922 and then demolished by the council uh, back then in about 1970. But also what we have here is the old Norman Mott and that was incorporated into the gardens by the Massarine family and it's still a fantastic feature of the castle gardens today. So we're here in the steeple area of Antrim, so called because of this beautiful round tower behind me. The round tower itself dates to possibly the 10th century. It's one of the finest and most complete round towers anywhere in Ireland. It's associated with the Bangor Abbey, and there would have been a, an abbey in this area as well. But there is a local legend about a witch who jumped off the tower, and she landed on the stone just over to my right here, and you can still see the indentations of her elbow and knee as she landed on the stone. It's called a witch's stone. So we're here in the middle of Antrim town. This was my hometown. I remember growing up here in the 70s and 80s. I left Antrim uh, in about 1990 or thereabouts. But again, a lovely view down into the town centre just behind me here. So we're here at the, the home, or what was the home, of Alexander Irvine, one of Antrim's most famous sons. His famous book, it was a bestseller, released in 1913, was My Lady of Chimney Corner. So this was the house where Alexander Irvine grew up and it was inside the house here that his mother Anna sat beside the fireplace, hence the name then My Lady of Chimney Corner. He was very much influenced by his mother and the whole premise of the book really is love is enough. So we're now down at the Lockshore Car Park and behind me of course is the beautiful Loch Ney. It's the largest freshwater lake in the British Isles. I know this area very well, I would have grown up very close to here. But as we look around you can see 
just out in the distance here. This is a torpedo launch, so it's a, a famous feature of Loch Ness in this area. It's where they tested torpedoes during the Second World War. But also out in the distance here, you're also seeing Shane's Castle. It's a beautiful castle, home of the O'Neill family, of course. So behind me is the new gateway centre opened by Antrim and Newton Abbey Council. So what they have inside is an interpretive centre where you can learn more about the area, about the lock and about the torpedo launch. There's also a restaurant upstairs, there's toilet facilities as well within the gateway centre. So it's going to be a fantastic addition to the tourism offering around the lock. So I'm now inside this fantastic gateway centre that's just been opened by Antrim and Newton Abbey Council and gives you lots of information about the lock, about the legends associated with the lock, about the torpedo launch just out here as well and it's a real addition to the tourism offering here in Antrim. So we're now at the historic Century Hill House, Newton Abbey. And within the house are fantastic artefacts. It was a former home of the McKinney family and it's really just a snapshot of, of Ulster country living back in the 19th century. So we're now just on the borders really of Antrim and Newton Abbey Borough. We're very close to the city of Belfast. You can see Belfast just behind me. And of course the beautiful Belfast Lock also just behind me here. And you're getting fantastic views here at Hazelbank Park, right over to Carrickfergus and beyond as well. So I'm now still in Newton Abbey, but I'm now standing beside one of the oldest buildings in Ireland. This is the White House. And it was said that it was here that William III, William of Orange, stopped here. His armies would have landed very close to here back in 1690. It's a beautiful building and again it's owned by Antrim and Newton Abbey Council. <laughs> 